有一天，我发现自怜自个都已没有，只剩下不知疲倦的肩膀，担负着简单的满足。有一天，开始从平淡日子感受快乐。看到了明明白白的远方，我要的幸福。我要稳稳的幸福，能抵挡末日的残酷。在不安的深夜，能有。伸手入怀中，有你的温度。我要稳稳的幸福，能抵挡失落的痛楚。一个人的路途，也不会孤独。我要稳稳的幸福，能用生。做长度，无论我身在何处，都不会迷途。这是我，这是我想要的，想要的幸福。Chia Bing, do as I say. If you divorce, don't take one penny from those people. No, 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 no. Don't let anger cloud your judgment right now, huh? Nothing is confirmed yet, right? They're just talking about it, right? Even though you might feel heartbroken right now, you need to protect your interests. That's what you need to do right now. Mom, don't even bring up money right now. Yuan Bao and his mom are almost penniless now. Their savings are all gone. Dad, I need to get this off my chest. The hundred thousand I borrowed from you wasn't for insurance. Truth is, it was for Yuan Bao's startup. I'm afraid the money's all gone. I told you to take your medicine, but you didn't. I didn't expect you'd tell such shocking news over lunch. Xia <laughs> Bing, what did you just say about your dad? He he gave you a hundred thousand, huh? Honey, when did you give her money? And where was I, huh? When when did you give her a hundred thousand? I was hoping to give you a big surprise. You you never told me you lent her money. You such a big amount of money. You you. Mom, it's all my fault. I lied to Dad so that he'd give me money. No 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 no. That's not the main point. I'm asking you, honey. Why did you hide such a huge secret from me? How could you do that? Seems it was so easy to keep me in the dark about this. What else are you hiding from me? This this is the only thing. I've never hidden other things from you before. Save it, just save it. I can't believe anything you say now. Mom, it's all my fault. I'm really sorry. I married the wrong guy and stole your money. But I'll fix this. I promise. I'll try to return the money with interest someday, very soon. No, Xia Bing, Xia Bing, you're my daughter. I would give my life for you. Don't worry about it. I'm your mom. I won't ask you for some kind of IOU. You just focus on yourself. Take care of your personal problems right away. People divorce every day. The one who initiates usually regrets it first. Just wait and see. I give it about two days before you and Bob begs you to come back. Get my money back from him. Katie, hello. Hello, you can just call me Katie. Okay, Katie. Good. We'll take good care of Lucky.、Oh. You can take him out after three thirty. Three thirty. Hmm. Oh, no!、Oh, don't cry, little guy. He, he's still tiny. He hasn't left the house before. Should we take him inside ourselves? <laughs> It's okay. Don't worry. We'll take over from here. 
It's normal for babies to cry when they leave their parents. They'll get used to it soon. Oh. They should learn the feeling of separation early. Then later on in life, they'll be better adjusted adults. Okay. Don't worry. Really? Okay. But he's still so little. Uh, don't worry. Oh. Thank you. See you later then. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Thank you. No problem. Hey, let's go. Wait, 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 listen. He's still crying. He's crying. I'll go get him. Let's take him home. Hey! Stop it! Why are you being so sentimental? What's wrong? He can't avoid difficulties for his whole life, right? Gosh, he's still so small. He only knows the two of us. He'll feel so insecure, surrounded by strangers. He doesn't need to learn about that pain now. At least he should understand. Crying about it won't fix his problems. Well, 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 how about this? I won't go in. I'll just stay here and wait, okay? Remember, he used to have four full-time nannies, but now he's all by himself. It'll, it'll be too hard for him to get used to. Hey, the tuition here is higher than the salaries of two nannies. A fortune. Let's go. Okay, you go, you go. I'm staying right here. If he cries his heart out again, I'm taking him home. You go. Your mom went to Joe Jong with that cute tour guide. There's no one at home. What's the point of staying here? Let's go. My dad brought me up this way, and I will do the same thing for him. You're really staying? You're going? Why did you want to see me so urgently? Did you sign up for French class? I did, but I'm afraid I can't go. Someone else can take my place. Why's that? Personal issues at home. What's the problem? Is it really that bad? Seems I might divorce. So what? So I have to think of Manman, and many other things back at home. I don't have time for French class, and solving all the problems in my life by myself. In all of our lives, there are four major stages. Divorce isn't one of them. I have to admit, I'm pretty shocked by the news. But it's not important enough for you to skip work, or forego your work duties. I don't think I can work during this kind of situation. In a situation like this, you have to work even harder, because no one else will support you and your daughter and give you the security you need. I think I need some time to figure out what to do now. When you went to school, started working, fell in love, or got married, did anyone ever give you time to figure things out? Why do you need time to get divorced? It shouldn't take extra time. Now you know you made a bad decision, took a wrong turn. So just correct the bad decision immediately. Otherwise you'll become a penniless, divorced mother of one. Without any job or prospects, you'll have nothing left. Yes, you have a pretty face. But it won't last forever, will it? Oh, who will marry you once you get old? Who wants to marry someone with a child? You need to think about the long-term picture. You have to see how you can push yourself forward. Because time will make you old and unlovely. And soon you'll start complaining. And then no one wants to be with you. <sighs> Your husband loved you very much at first, right, Shabby? But now you see what happened. You should thank me for giving you this job opportunity. Otherwise, you would suffer from depression and paranoia. So now I... Now you need to start French classes and work! Don't ask for time off within the next two months. Get back to work.
Really? Don't do that now. How can you play during a time like this? Well, I have a nervous headache. You walking around makes me nervous. This bandage can help me relieve the pain. Just become a mummy and go live in a pyramid. Then you'll have no pain. Then you'll be in pain. More pain than I feel now? I asked you to go reason it out with them. Just go with me. But you refuse to go. Uh, I don't want to solve this problem with violence. The way I see it, negotiation is much better. Negotiation, you say? You have n no courage to fight for your daughter? Are you still a man? They've borrowed so much money from me. If we fall out with them, money, we'll never money, get money. the money back. It's not too late to get revenge, even if we can't help our daughter. We should have some money for our granddaughter. Yeah, you have my word. <sighs> Once we get the money, I'll go with you to do whatever you want to do. Will you be satisfied then, huh? You choose money over dignity? <laughs> Dignity's worthless, but money can give me dignity. You're impulsive. I've got a plan. You enjoy huh. your plan, huh? I'll stick with my way. If this fight continues, we'll soon divorce ourselves. Uh, don't be impulsive. Don't run off. Well, I... <sighs> Hi, Julia. It's Shabbing. I just got off work. I'm going to see Mama, and then I have to go to French class. <laughs> you became a super hot single mom way faster than I did. Why are you here? Mama! Did you bring Mama here so I could see her before class? Of course. Mama! Well, I'm not to buy you dinner. Dinner, but why? Hmm? My birthday. But aren't you a Leo? It's my son's birthday. Let's go. Mama! Oh. I brought the house key with me. Bosh and Romeo are locked inside. What should we do? I have to go back and open the door. Oh, do you see that guy over there? He's my friend. Help me take care of him for a little bit. Wait, tell him Julia. I hi. I'll be back soon. Xiaobian. Uh, hi, I'm Xiaobian. Gao Mu. Nice to meet you, Mr. Gao. Please sit down. This is my son, Muar. Uh, this is my daughter, Yuanman. Yuanman. So, Julia went to pick up her son. She'll be back soon. Julia? Don't you know Julia? Uh, never heard of her. Uh, excuse me. Hello? Don't say anything. And don't change your expression. This guy is your date? And I chose him for you out of thousands of men. Believe me, knowing you have options can help your self-esteem. This is just in case you and Yuanbao don't work out. And if you do, it doesn't hurt to have more friends, right? Okay, now generally say goodbye to me. Hey, hey, hey Julia, Julia! <laughs> To be honest, I've never sent an invitation to anyone before I saw your profile. I actually thought your online info was for sure fake before I saw you. But now I've met you. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. How dare you pretend you're not home? Hello? Hello? Who is it? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, did I dial it wrong? Could you... Oh, oh never mind, never mind. Uh, hello. <laughs> Thank you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Sorry, wait a minute. I'm here to talk oh. to you. Where's your son? My son? My son's at work. I forgot to take my key, so I'll need someone to open the door for me. If you forgot the key, you can't open this door. Or get into your apartment then. <sighs> I don't know why, but lately I'm so forgetful. I always forget to bring my key. Are you new here? Which floor do you live on? 
Are you trying to be funny with me? I'm Shabing's mother. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Now I remember. Yes, you are. You're Mrs. Sha. But is it necessary for you? Do you need to think about it? Don't you know me? Of course I know you, Mrs. Sha. It seems we can't get inside. We'll have to wait, right? Let's find a place to sit for a while. Sit for a while this way. So you... If you don't have your key, why don't you call your son to come open the door for you? He is very busy with work. I forgot to bring the key last time, so I called him, but he got very upset. Your son's company is bankrupt, isn't it? What else can he do? He's fixing everything. He'll get out of debt soon. Do you understand why I came here today? Yeah, yeah. Because Yuan Bao and Xia Bing might divorce. Since you're crystal clear about that, Mrs. Yan, let's just get straight to the point, then how does that sound? <clears throat> how about this? Let's talk about it at dinner. After Xia Bing gets back, is that okay with you? You can eat at my place. Let's wait for them. They'll be off work soon. <clears throat> Xia Bing. Hey, um, uh, what's wrong with your mother-in-law? Why is she talking nonsense? Is there something wrong with her? Oh, sorry, I have something urgent to take care of. Oh, if it's an emergency, I can drive you. No need, but thanks. What's this? Go Dutch. <laughs> Thank you for the gesture. But keep your money. Just go. No, 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 no. I wouldn't feel right about that. You'll embarrass me. The waitress will laugh at me. Thank you. I should go. Get in the car. No, thank you. Thanks. I'll charge you as much as a taxi driver does. Don't worry. Get in. Thank you. Come on, get inside. Lately, I've been forgetting things. Always forgetting. I need to take pills, otherwise, it'll be worse. Here's some water, a bottle of water. It's not open yet. Mm. <laughs> Have some. <laughs> mm -hmm. So does Xiaoping know yet? <sighs> Yuan Bao won't let me say. I felt terrible when I saw Yuan Bao drive Xia Bing out. It's all my fault. Come on, please don't say that. Being being sick, it's not your fault. They might be fighting right now, but it has nothing to do with you. Really, it has nothing I to know do with it's you. Yuan Bao's fault. <laughs> and now you're finally rid of all of us. What do you mean by that? You're sick now. We won't leave you. We can't. We won't. We're here for you, okay? Mom. Hi, Xiaobing. Hi, Xiaobing. Mom. <laughs> My man. I haven't seen you for days. Xiaobing, it seems you're thinner. Xiaobing, how about we go back upstairs with Mrs. Yuan? Let's walk her home. Let's go home. She wants to see my mom. Let's go home. Let's go. Mom. Let's walk her safely home. Mama, we're home. <laughs> uh, let me get the slippers for you. Here. Thank you. 
Mama, we're home. Mama, we're home. Mrs. Yan, are you okay here at home? Alone? I'm fine. I'll, I'll be just fine here. Xia Bing, please stay here for a bit with your mom, if you have time. I want to spend some time with Mom Mom, okay? Yeah. I have a class to attend. I'll be late. She has Alzheimer's disease. Who told you that? I found out when she took some pills downstairs just now. Yumba, <laughs> you're home. Oh, oh hey, uh, how about we, uh, uh, we, let's go back to your room. Huh? Uh, let's go back and rest. Did she have me agree? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she agreed. Uh, let's go, my mind. Come here, I'll get the room. door. Why didn't you tell me your mom has Alzheimer's? It's no big deal. Everyone declines as they get old. The doctor says it's not serious and can be controlled with the medicine. She didn't recognize my mom just now. It happens. What now? Did you divorce me because of this? Is that what happened? <sighs> oh, like I told you before. We've been together for two years. We can't put up with each other. We're tired of fighting and bickering. We've hurt each other's feelings. Well, both of us have shown our ugly side, and neither of us are going to change. You know, we hate each other. I know there's no need to punish each other, right? <laughs> what do you mean by ugly sides? I've been like this since you met me. I've never changed. Oh, oh when I loved you. Everything you did was cute. But when the love was gone, everything you do is annoying. You once said that, and I think your words sum up our current situation. Do you still want to hear even more? Uh, I don't love you anymore. So why do I have to stay with a woman I don't love for the rest of my life? Why torture each other? Why not end this bad relationship early and start a new life with new partners? Isn't that for the best? Oh, and, uh... Please sign the divorce papers when you have time. It's your call to agree to divorce or go to court over it. And after that, legally, and emotionally speaking, you'll have nothing to do with this. You don't even need to come over. But I really do thank you for coming over to visit my mom. But you don't have to do this in the future, because the doctor says she's fine. Whether she's fine or not fine, I'll go ask her myself. I don't need to check. Don't disturb her. She'll be fine, don't you think? I don't believe what you said. I'll ask her myself. Believe it or not, I don't care. But this is my family, and she is my mom. I told her that she's fine. Now get out. It's got nothing to do with you. You... Mom? Go get my man. We're going home.
Did he hit you? No answer means he hit you. He didn't. I know how you feel right now, honey. After you two got married, you were lifelong partners and cherished each other. But now his business has completely failed, hasn't it? And his mom is ill. Don't cry, baby, don't cry. Don't let him treat you badly. You know what? Just sign the papers. Huh? Make a clean break with him ASAP. Hey, where's Lucky? Hey, 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 he's sleeping. You'll wake him. Don't go in there. You. Uh, I knew it. I knew you'd go in there and take him home. Well, what kind of place is that? Nobody helps them eat. They just put a piece of cake in front of them and let the babies grab it themselves. He's only a baby. How does he know how to eat? <laughs> I asked those teachers what the deal was. Uh, why they didn't feed the babies. Can you guess what they said? They said, Oh, we give the babies the chance to do whatever they want. If they're hungry, they'll find food to eat. All animals can find food. Total B.S. <sighs> Don't you think so? Well, how did you take care of him by yourself? Didn't you say you had clients to meet? Hello, Muzu. Oh, look, he's sleeping. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm already sterilized. Okay. She didn't have class, so I asked her to help me. <laughs> From now on, I can come over and take care of him when I have time. Hey, now I'm sure Muzu doesn't mind you taking care of Loki sometimes, because Loki should have more opportunities to meet people. But we still need a reliable and trustworthy person. You're barely qualified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to ask you. Did you have a chance to call the American family I arranged for you to stay with? Mm. Can I change a family if I don't like them? Why is that? You didn't like them? What's wrong? First of all, their house is far away from my school. Second, their house isn't all that nice. So that's why you didn't like them? So you'd rather I book a five-star hotel for you near your school? Would you think that's okay? You're going there to study, not for vacation. <sighs> it's, it was really far away. And she can't even drive. Transportation's a problem. There must be some public buses. Are you afraid? Have you ever read Harvard or Oxford's educational methods? Don't you know there's a thrifty lifestyle which helps children grow as individuals and gives them minor barriers to overcome? Why do I have to read Harvard and Oxford's educational methods? Why does my daughter have to be accepted by Harvard and Oxford to become successful? If that's the only way to success, then Steve Jobs wasn't successful. I think the greatest success for a girl is to grow up happy and have an enjoyable, comfortable life. That's the definition of success in my mind. It's not about college degrees or titles like CEO. Okay, we need to talk. Huh. Okay, come on. It's been a while. Bring it on. Lulu's mom and I. Mm. Lulu's mom <clears throat> has a different attitude towards life. Maybe like you, that kind of carefree life. Well, I have degrees, titles, I'm a CEO. So then why did you give up on her mom and pursue me? Aren't your words and actions contradictory? <coughs> if you agree with your dad's view, you don't need my help to go study abroad. But you should go back to the countryside and enjoy your simple life. Isn't that right? But if you want to go abroad to see the world and fulfill your curiosity and have an enriched, cultured life, you must follow my instructions. 
You're still very young. You can handle some challenges. This isn't even difficult. Take the hard road, my dear. Then when you're old, those memories will give you a strong sense of a fulfilled life. We only live once, and you only choose this once. You can go to the boarding school I arranged for you, or I'll cancel the whole thing. Oh, I'll go. I promise I won't complain anymore. I, I want to be a woman just like you. <laughs> hey, about Loki. Tomorrow we will still need to send him to the international nursery I selected, remember? I'll take him there while you drive your mom to the airport tomorrow morning. She's leaving? Why didn't I know? I bought a house for her in her hometown. And she can't wait to see her new house. When did you buy her a house? A few days ago. That's why I paid for the tour guide to distract her in Shanghai. So I could buy this house to give her a big surprise. A big surprise! You really bought a house for Grandma? Although the house isn't expensive, I'm officially a good <laughs> daughter-in-law. You're more than good. You're perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Just perfect. You sure you don't want a drink? I can't. My man sleeps with me all night still. She can sleep through the night yet. Sometimes she gets up at 4 a.m. Sabine, marriage is a huge decision that changes your life. But you need to be a little selfish sometimes for the sake of your child and your own sake. Otherwise, you'll always be unhappy. Frederick Angus said, Monogamy leads to the wife being oppressed by her man. A year or two ago, if he said one thing wrong or made me feel bad once, or didn't answer my questions, I would have dropped him faster than a hot potato. But now, but now even though, he said harsh words and pushed me. I still don't think I should leave him. The hardest part is confirming you will divorce him. If you did leave him, all these problems you're worried about would be solved. Good for you, your kids and everyone, trust me. Seriously, you'll get over it. Look at me. I'm doing just fine, right? Take a sip. So now I'll ask you a question I have. Something I've been curious about for a while. About Bao Shui. I know that you two are just friends now, but have you ever regretted it? Especially now that you're fighting with Yuan Bao. Do you ever regret choosing Yuan Bao over Bao Shui? Because maybe you wouldn't be so unhappy now? I don't regret it. If I had a second chance, I'd still choose Yuan Bao. Because I believe that no one will love me more than Yuan Bao used to. I can't deny the past, just because our marriage falls apart. Cheers. Hi. Hmm? What did you two uh, talk about? Nothing really. I would like I would believe that. You were up for hours. What does Xiaobing say? I'm afraid he can't handle it. Uh, come on, I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm a grown up. Spill. <laughs> Okay, you ask for it. I don't think Xiaobin will divorce Yuan Bao. Because she still loves him. I can handle that just fine. That's great news. Idiot. 
Miss Lee. Ah, uh, here, here. Oh. Go on in. I'm so sorry, my husband. He doesn't share our educational theories, so he took Lockie away early. I promise it won't happen again in the future. <laughs> Thank you for your trust. We have enough experience to prove that the babies can get used to this type of environment within about one week or so, usually. <laughs> Besides, uh, our teachers have all worked for the prestigious Eton School, which is the best in China, so don't worry. Uh, oh, I won't. I know that your school is the best. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. We won't thank let you. you down. <sighs> See you, Miss Lee. Uh, sorry, could you help close the door for me? <laughs> thank you. Okay. See you. See you. <laughs> Where's Shabby? Um, she was just here. Maybe she went to the bathroom. Since she's not here, I have something to say to you all. So listen up. I know you've been talking about her behind her back. I suggest you spend more time working instead of gossiping. She has a baby to raise and is getting divorced, yet she still does her job well and better than most. When it comes to the comparative analysis on the special column, are any one of you able to do better than her? She is the kind of beauty who can live and work under unbelievable pressure. Don't even think. You're better than her by wearing a few false eyelashes and gouty bracelets. An invincible woman? Her husband's business failed, so she wants to divorce him. Hey, I heard that someone saw her hooked up with a rich guy. Really? And don't forget, she was only a receptionist before. Yet she wears opera and clothes. Or maybe they're just fake ones. Either way, they're just expensive and above her pay grade. I'm sure she was just with a rich guy who's paying her all the stuff. <laughs> but we saw her husband that one time, right? Yes. He was so kind to her. Kind? So what? Being kind is not worth it anymore. We all knew she'd get divorced someday. It happened quicker than I thought. <laughs> Don't think that you can judge people because you hold a master's degree. You've met how many receptionists? How many of them are like me? Question for you. Tell me the truth. Do you want to divorce me because you have a mistress? No way. Do you regret marrying me and having Mama? I don't regret it. I'm going to go home. And whose home is that? Yuan Bao's home. What? He... He wants you to go back. Huh? Not him. I want to go back myself. Do you have your head screwed on straight? So just swallow your pride then. I called Yuan Bao. He told me he doesn't have a mistress. If he had one, I would divorce him immediately. And leave him. Forever leave him. Get as far away from him as possible. But he said he didn't. I think if I leave them at this time, I won't know how to explain it to Man Man when she grows up. After all, they are her family too. You know kids nowadays. 
are so open-minded. Divorce and marriage aren't as important to them as they were before. Regardless, everyone wants to know their family and have a family. It's easy to remember. I told you so many times already. You really can't remember? The big bottle has the most pills to take. Take one pill 30 minutes before eating. Three times a day, okay? I got it. You, you might not remember it. I'll write it in your notebook. I, I know the Here. bottle. Here, uh, look, Mom, you, you say you know, but I think you don't know. Look at my notes. I've written it all down, okay? Who is it? Mom, I'm home. Xiaobing. <gasps> You're home. Yeah, came back with Mama. Hey, Just I Just shut up. I'll settle our council key later. What do you mean? Here for good? Permanently. Mama and I just came back. Hey, now, you know I didn't agree to this. Bao, just shut up. Xiaobing, are you certain about this? No second thoughts at all? After all, we owe your dad and mom 100,000, and my disease will also make your life difficult. And you and Bao's business is still in trouble. Uh, don't tell her. Shut up. Yes, shut up. Mom, I've thought it all through. Since I've decided to come back for good, I've planned everything out already. As for the money we owe my folks, don't worry. We can sort it out together. Really? Mm -hmm. I even had a dream that you'd come back. It's terrific. Mama, come on, come to my room. Shut up. 